everyone welcome back to my channel for today's video i have another express try on haul to share with you guys and i don't typically do try on hauls like to the same retailer this close together i had just done one last month but i was randomly browsing their new arrivals and i found so many cute things that i was dying to try so i ended up placing a really large order and i'm going to be trying it on with you guys today and i hope you enjoy today's video Definitely let me know your favorite look down in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more try on hauls here on my channel. If you haven't already subscribed, I would love for you to consider subscribing. I share lots of try on hauls, styling, fashion videos, a little bit of beauty, and a few vlogs sprinkled in here and there, but fashion is the main focus of my channel. So if you're into that type of thing, definitely consider subscribing. Everything that I style in today's video will be linked down in the description box below, so definitely check that out if you're interested in any of these pieces, and let's jump into today's outfits. So I really wanted to try something from the Rocky Barnes collection, and everything was really cute. It was just either too revealing or I didn't love the colors, but this piece was like the one I felt like was so me and my style. It almost reminds me of my bridal robe that I wore to my wedding. I love Swiss dot details. It's just so feminine and I feel like this is just really cute and different. Obviously it's definitely a different unique piece, but those of you who would wear it, I think are going to love it. Or if you're a bride-to-be, I think this would be really cute like on your bachelorette to wear. Um, I have it over a Goldie shorts. I fall more in love with these every time I put them on. They are just so flattering. I don't know what it is about them. I think where it hits at the waist, how they're cut, they just look really flattering. Um, anyway, back to this. So you can definitely kind of play with it how you want. I unbuttoned from the waistband down, but you can keep that buttoned if you have like a bathing suit underneath or something. You would be like really fabulous if you wore this as a bathing suit cover up. But the way that it's cut is really fitting how it kind of crosses under here. I feel like it would be better off if you wore a tighter fitting tank top. I did not have one. This is that Express Barcelona cami that I wear all the time. I love their camis there if you have not picked them up. But yeah, I feel like it would look better with something a little more fitted. I love the sheer sleeve. It's just so flowy and pretty. Just makes me want to go on vacation, but also like be a bride again. <laughs> um, I, you obviously definitely don't have to be a bride to wear it, but I feel like it's definitely more of like a vacation piece. And as far as the rest of the look, I have on my favorite wedges. <laughs> no surprise there. I'm sure y'all are getting sick of them, but I love them. You can also wear it open if that's more your thing, then you can see more of the shorts. I do think the buttons are really pretty, but I kind of like this look a little better. Like this would be more likely for me to wear it. It's just a little more in my comfort zone because you can see that I'm wearing pants. I think this would also look really pretty if you just did an all white look and you had like white shorts on. I think that would be pretty too. And you can also just throw this over a dress or something like that if you want an extra layer. So this is a cute casual summer outfit. I actually don't typically love tank tops that have this type of cut where they're really thick across the top of the chest. They just don't end up being very flattering and they kind of cut off my arms, but this one is actually cut really well. I love how it dips down. It makes it really comfortable and somehow they manage to like fit the chest and it doesn't like pooch out too much, if that makes sense. Like sometimes they just end up not working. <laughs> That's the best way to describe it. But this one, I love the little palm details. I think this would be cute if you just threw your hair up, went really casual. The palm detail could definitely be dressed up if you have a really good pair of like white linen pants. I think that would be cute to kind of dress it up for summer dinner. I kept on those same A Goldie shorts and then I threw on this bracelet from Victoria Emerson just to add a little bit of pop of color. This is like a magnetic closure, so they're really easy to get on and it gives you that layered look. And I have really small wrists and they t do work. Like that's as far as it slides down on my wrist. So, I like the little pop of color that that adds. And then I have on my favorite little Tory sandals. I love the blush color. Don't ever like Patton, but I like the Tory shoes in Patton just because they hold up really well. Because shoes definitely have a lot of easy wear and tear, especially in the summer. 
Um, I wore mine to the beach. Like I wouldn't do that probably with leather shoes, but because these are patent, they have held up really well. So the skirt was just a little too long for me to wear flats, so I ended up dressing it down. When I originally ordered it, I was like, oh, this would be cute to wear like super casually since it is like chambray. But I would say this is still casual, but it's a little more dressed up than I was going for with the shoes. Um, but I needed that height there, and I'm 5'5". Five five. Um, it is like a wrap style, so if it's really breezy, I would not wear this. The bow, I did forget to steam it. If you're having a hard time, like if your bow's not looking right, I would say give it a good steam, and that helps it look a lot better than this. <laughs> um, I kept on that same bracelet. I threw on this tank from Loft just to give it some color. This is a blush pink color. I think this is sadly sold out at this point. But I'm sure Express has one that's very similar, hopefully. Um, the skirt, I feel like, fits a teeny bit big. So because the skirt just seems a little bulky and it's a little too long for me to dress down with sandals, I think I'm going to return this one. So I am a really big fan of these shorts. These are definitely a keeper. They are just so lightweight and comfortable that I know I'll get a lot of use out of them in the summertime. And they just look really nice. They are a linen blend material. They're a teeny bit sheer. They're definitely... Like you can see the outline of the pocket and you do have to be careful what you wear underneath. Um, I have neutral <laughs> underwear on right now and I'm good, but I did have to pull my shirt up and over. It was all the way down in the beginning and you could just see the outline and I don't love that. So I ended up just kind of bunching it up here. And so it's good to go back there. But I just, I don't know what it is about these shorts. I think it's the front. I really love how the belt is underneath this. It just gives it a much cleaner look than typical like paper bag type shorts. And so I really like how it just kind of pokes out through here. I do need to tie my bow a little bit tighter. I'm sure these will wrinkle pretty easily because they do have that linen blend material, but they just feel a little bit different and they'll probably will fall out as long as you're moving around in them. But I'm just a really big fan of these. I'm glad I added them to my cart. I kept on the same tank top. I love white and pink together. And then I just love how these wedges always tie the look together. I wear so much, you know, whites and blushes that these wedges are perfect because they always just bring everything together. And then I kept on that same bracelet. I really love this pop. Like these are my three favorite colors. So I love that pop of blue that this bracelet adds in. When I opened up this dress, I could not wait to try it on. I just loved the button detail and then this ruffle and the detail down here. I was just so excited to try it on. But honestly, the fit is just a little off for me. It's just not working in my chest area with the fabric. It's like bunching on both sides, gapping a little bit. And then I think just where this comes through here and goes to a point, it's just making the fabric weird. It's just not right. <laughs> like, I need the straps to be pulled really tightly, but then they're not comfortable in my underarm. So this just isn't looking too cute through here. This is cute, but something's just off about the top for me. And I think also because this is like needing to be pulled back, it's just making it look a little big above that fold. So sadly, this one's gonna go back now. Um, this jumpsuit was not the easiest to get into because it does have a cross back, so I had to like duck into it, and these straps are so thin that I was worried it was going to snap, but we made it work. <laughs> this is another good option. If you are a bride-to-be, the lace detail is really cute, especially if you're wanting to do something different for your rehearsal dinner or something like that and go for a jumpsuit instead, or for your bachelorette, it'd be perfect because you can dance and... Don't have to worry about, you know, whatever you're doing on the dance floor showing too much. But this one is more cropped style, which I have not seen. I do think the pant legs are very flattering. And I do like the croppedness because it really shows off the shoes. I think these pearl shoes are like the perfect detail to pull in that white. These are from DSW. I got these to wear as a bridesmaid and I love them. They're really comfortable, easy to walk in because they have a blocked heel. So as far as sizing, it does run true to size, but I have no extra room in the top and you will need like some sort of 
plunging bra. I have on a sticky bra and I had to detach the center just because you could see it. So you could just like stick them on and be good. You don't really need a ton of, I don't need a ton of support at least. Um, but if you do, you will need to figure out the bra because this does go pretty low. So this dress isn't the most flattering, but sometimes you just want to throw something on that's really comfortable and still kind of look put together, but it's not necessarily figure flattering. Um, it's a little big as far as the fit, but you wouldn't be able to get it on because there's no zipper or anything if it was any smaller. So it's just kind of a flowy tiered dress. The fit of the arms, it's a little wide. Um, it just, I don't know. I think I need to like lower the straps actually and I'll probably be better. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, so that is better. It's still a little bit of an awkward fit in the top. I, I don't own anything really like this and I'm not sure it's the most flattering in the girl area, but so this is just a really comfy, easy, flowy maxi dress. It's not necessarily the most figure flattering. Um, it's a little oversized and has navy stripes with the white there. The dress was too long for me to wear with sandals, so I threw on those tan wedges. So this would be really great if you are taller. Um, the petite girls will probably have an issue with it because I am 5'5", five five, and I feel like I'm not really that short. I'm just kind of average height, so definitely won't work or you can get it hemmed, kind of your personal preference. There is another liner on the bottom, but it doesn't go all the way down, so you can see it hits kind of mid-thigh there. But the off-the-shoulder is very comfortable. So sometimes the off-the-shoulder can feel really tight around your arms, but this one's actually really comfortable. Um, I do want to point out, it seems like, I don't know if I could steam it out, but it just seems like the side is a little poorly sewn, I guess. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it just kind of gathers around that seam. Either way, this dress is very comfortable. I think it's really cute. You could kind of dress it down by wearing your hair in a ponytail and some cute little white tassel earrings or something like that. So I wanted to try out these pants after I fell in love with the bright pink pair from my last Express try-on haul, which if you haven't seen that one, a lot of those pieces are still available because I did one last month. So definitely check that one out after this video if you missed it. But this is like a lighter, blushier, more muted pink color. I really love the fit of these. They're a little dressier than my go-to work pants from the Loft Outlet. They're a lighter weight material. I did get the four short, and I feel like I would have been fine with the regular. I typically get short in work pants because I'd rather them be off my ankle than bunch at the bottom because then they look a little baggy. But I feel like I would have been okay with the regular in these because these are more of an ankle fit. As for the shirt, I really wanted to try this one because I love like the shiny polka dot details. It reminds me of this one from Topshop that I love, so I had to try it. Um, I don't typically love collared shirts. I don't know why, but I just like a cleaner neckline. And this one, it doesn't stick out as much, and they kind of sit back a little bit more. But I still prefer a non-collared shirt, I guess. And then I just tried it on. The sleeves were like this, but I would definitely roll them down a little bit. They're kind of... A little uncomfortable I would probably do my own like roll like once or twice around the wrist and then for the shoes I'm wearing my favorite little minis I love these for work they're so comfortable they do fold up they're great for travel these are a little dressier I do have a pair that's not metallic if that's more your thing but I highly recommend these if you're looking for a comfy work flat so I threw on this navy top because I feel like every time I've styled pants that are a little out of the norm like pink pants or pattern pants I just stick with a very simple white top so I just wanted to show I think navy would also work really well with the blush I would definitely wear this to work even as a PT I've worn this in white to work and I just cannot say enough good things about these cute tops have it in white and navy and I've been wearing it a lot in recent videos um, that will be up but I do like this color palette together as well. And then I have on these little bow shoes, which are too cute. They're definitely a statement. They're more of an outfit maker. Um, I've worn them with jeans just to kind of dress them up. I think they're so cute. So I brought back out the white shorts just to dress them up a little bit. This blouse was from my last Express try-on haul. I just love the buttons, love the color, and I love the flowy sleeves of it. It's also just very comfortable. I don't think I've worn this to work yet but I should. 
I should definitely wear it next week. I did style this over on my blog, so I will link the blog post just so you can see how I wore it already for a workwear inspired outfit, but I'm a big fan of these shorts. I think they're so cute. I love the length and they just fit perfect. Like I love them so much, I never love linen. Cause I can't deal with the wrinkles, but I like these. <laughs> so, um, and then I have on these Sam Edelman heels. I cannot recommend these enough for you guys who are looking for a comfortable heel. You could walk all day in these. I feel like they're so comfortable. The heel isn't too high and it is blocked and chunky. They do run true to size. I normally size down in heels like this just because I like for them to be a little snug and really hold my heel in place. But I actually had to exchange the 7.5 for my normal 8 just because the toe got a little narrow. And I just felt like it was a little too close. So I would say get your normal size in these. And they do have a lot of colors. I have the brown suede but they do also have a lot of other colors. This is one of my favorite outfits, I think, from the haul so far. So I just love how flirty this little mini skirt is. I don't know when I would necessarily wear it other than like a date night or a little girls night if I had a vacation coming up, but I don't, um, but I just love it. It is a little short for work, just depending on your work environment. It's probably not the most appropriate for work, it is high-waisted. I'm wearing a 4, which I normally size down to a 2, but just based on where the model was wearing this, I just got my normal size, and I'm definitely glad because I have no extra room, or I wouldn't want it to be any tighter. Um, but I just love how like flirty it is with all the little ruffles around. It's not really ruffles, but the flares. And then I paired it with this white eyelet off-the-shoulder top just to kind of dress it down a little bit. Um, it definitely needs something either cropped or tucked in just to keep it figure flattering. You don't want it to go any lower than your hip bones, otherwise it will just look a little off. Um, this one was from H&M. You can see more of that in my H&M try-on haul, but I am wearing a small. It is see-through. It definitely needs like a bandeau <laughs> underneath it. Those are all the outfits that I have to share with you guys today from Express. I hope you found something that fit within your style or that inspired you to try something new. Everything that I styled today will be linked down in the description box below. And I'm also going to link my Like to Know It profile. If you're not familiar with Like to Know It, it's basically a shoppable Instagram feed. And all the direct links to everything in that outfit is linked. And if you're not following me over there already, you are definitely missing out on outfits and sale alerts and all of that good stuff because I post in there way more than I do over on my Instagram feed just because I don't want to flood the feed because Instagram's crazy. So definitely check that out and let me know what you think about it. If you haven't already hit the thumbs up button, go ahead and do that because it definitely helps out my channel. And then also consider hitting the notification bell that just lets you know whenever I post a new video because I've had a few like DMs lately saying like, hey, have you given up on YouTube? And I'm like, no, I'm posting. Um, so I think some of you guys are missing some of my videos. So if you don't want to do that, then hit that little notification bell next to the subscribe button. And then I think YouTube will send you an email or a little push notification whenever I post a new video. And I have a lot more videos to come. I've been ramping up trying to post at least twice a week, but sometimes even three. And I have a new series that I'm really excited to kick off really soon. So stay tuned for that. But I rambled on enough. <laughs> Thank you guys for sticking around and I will see you in my next video. You got a smile that makes the sun rise. You make it shine.